And we now turn to the housing crisis. An emotional debate wrapped up just minutes ago over homeless encampments. Who has the power to clear them? And where should the people living there go? Becca Hobbegger has followed this all day to bring us the latest updates. When we say homelessness, we are talking about people. The issue is a group of people. Sacramento City Council members spent hours Tuesday listening to public input about homelessness solutions, including whether to force people experiencing homelessness from unlawful encampments, like those on public sidewalks, near schools, or along levees. When people have stability, they are safe, as well as safer for everyone. Making their lives more difficult will make everyone less safe. Homeless advocates shared their perspective, pointing out those who are unhoused often have nowhere else to go and not enough services. We also heard from people who live, work, and own businesses in Sacramento who say they are fed up with illegal encampments, blocking sidewalks, of trash in the streets, even of experiencing harassment from some people who are unhoused. Just two weeks ago, one of my hotel guests was violently assaulted just two blocks from my hotel. As the city leaders, it is imperative that we provide our citizens and our visitors a safe downtown and a safe waterfront experience. This crisis should be our city's top priority, and we believe these ordinances will make a positive impact. Up for a vote at this meeting were several measures. They include directing city manager Howard Chan to spend whatever money it takes within his authority to enforce Sacramento's ordinances related to unlawful encampments, like camping on sidewalks or along critical infrastructure, and that measure passed. Here's Mayor Daryl Steinberg explaining why this changes how quickly the city manager can now respond to unlawful homeless encampments. It's to get to them faster, voluntary compliance first, yes enforcement if there isn't voluntary compliance, and to use overtime to be able to pay for a more rapid response. That's what the import of this is. It's a more rapid response. The big vote of the meeting was whether to give city manager Howard Chan the sole authority to pick so-called safe ground sites, designated spaces where people experiencing homelessness can camp or park that would allow him to bypass council members in making these decisions. Those opposing the measure said they worry it would put too much power in the city manager's hands. This is not me trying to usurp power from this council. The measure came as a recommendation from Mayor Steinberg, who wants Chan to be able to move projects along more quickly. And Becca Hobbecker joins us in studio. She's right. just running in, you guys. I but am following these notes for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the debate's going on right now. They could yes. be voting as we speak, but a lot of people yeah. had questions about this proposal. What are some of the things that people are asking? Yeah, you know, uh, one of the questions is how are these, I mean, if this passes, right, that's the big if, they're still debating yeah. it. Uh, how is city manager Howard Chan going to cite these, find these safe ground camping sites? Uh, he says, you know, they'll go through a list of, available properties, uh, but specifically instructing the city manager, Daryl Steinberg, Sacramento's mayor, said he's looking for these things, basically directing him. If this passes, I want to make sure that you try in good faith to find geographic diversity. I want there to be a basic level of dignity and support at these safe ground camps, so water, cleanliness. Uh, he also mentioned a good neighbor policy. You might remember the, uh, the safe ground camping site that they had uh, right near ABC 10 at the WX corridor. Uh, there were camp encampments that popped up around the safe ground campsites. And Mayor Steinberg says he wants uh, the safe ground camping sites to be standalone and to not have essentially spillover encampments. So to respect the neighborhoods in which these are located. And again, this meeting is going on. We will have the latest for you uh, on LNT tonight at 11. All right, Becca, thank you so much. We appreciate it.